What's up guys, my name is Lawrence. I am the brand manager here at Soundcore. Thanks a lot for joining us tonight. We really, really appreciate it. And let me just start off also by uh, apologizing for the delay in uh, getting through to you guys, but we're here now and I promise that it will be worth it for what we've got in store. So we're coming to you live from New York City here at Town Stages and we are streaming across Twitter, Facebook and soundcore.com. We've got a lot in store for you tonight. If any of you guys have been following us on social media, you'll know that we're, we are unveiling a brand new uh, mystery product as well as a bunch of other products too. And we've got speeches from the general manager of uh, head, uh, headphones as well as the um, head of brand for Soundcore. And we're gonna have panels and uh, direct interviews with a few other people here tonight. Also included in that group are Grammy award-winning audio engineers. You might be wondering why they're here and how they've helped with these products, but they'll all become clear very, very soon. Um, also, the uh, mystery product that I just mentioned, we're giving you guys a chance to win it. So all you need to do is uh, just keep commenting, stay in the stream. If you're watching on Twitter, make sure you hit that retweet button as well. If you're watching on Facebook, make sure you hit share. And if you're watching on soundcore.com, you've got it really easy. All you need to do is just leave a comment. We will announce the winners within 24 hours. So even if you watch this live stream after it's finished, you still have a chance to win. Um, so just make sure that, uh, yeah, comment and share. Um, besides that, what we're gonna do is in a couple of minutes, we're gonna cut through to the main stage that you can see behind me. That's where we'll be unveiling these products, having these speeches. So just bear with us. We will uh, get onto that very, very quickly. Um, and in the meantime, I'm also going to be uh, looking at my phone and seeing your questions coming in here. So make sure you keep those questions coming in. If there's any good ones in there, I'll be responding to those ones. And also we've got our team back at the headquarters responding to you guys live on the stream as well. So even if I don't respond to your question tonight, um, someone else from headquarters will be responding and will get back to you. So just keep the comments and questions coming in. I'll leave it there for now. We'll be um, cutting through to the main stage soon and I will see you guys very, very soon.
Welcome to Soundcore 2019. Your host, Eric Belines. This is very dramatic. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Um, before I get started, I, I just has anyone been in this event space before? Raise of hands. No? It's really cool. Um, this is a women-owned and operated space. It's actually, they call it, it's a for-profit to do nonprofit endeavors. So when corporations like us rent it out, it actually gives them funds to do pretty cool events like art and, and other stuff. So I just, it's a great space. If you don't know about it, I would look it up. I've wanted to do an event here for a very long time. Anyway, I'm Eric. Hello. Um, uh, we have actually a couple of guests. So we have you guys here today, and then we're live streaming through our community. So I just want to say hey to everyone that's actually online all around the world. Um, I'm going to emcee the event today, and uh, when everyone's sort of done talking, I'm going to do a little bit of house cleaning and our housekeeping. What is it? Housekeeping or house cleaning? <laughs> house cleaning. Housekeeping, hopefully. Uh, and we'll kind of tell you how the demos are going to go and, and everything. So, um, some of you have been in an event maybe about a year ago. I know you were, a couple of other people, when we launched the Soundcore brand. Um, in just one year, we've become one of the top audio brands on Amazon globally. Uh, and now we're being sold in Target and Walmart um, and all over the place. And that's, that's super exciting. And it, of course, fits beautifully in our uh, anchor brand portfolio, uh, Charging, which many of you may have learned about us the first time, our Eufy sort of... Uh, uh, home products and Nebula, which we're going to be talking about in a couple of weeks from today. Um, anyway, um, can we scroll up? Sorry, I'm kind of winging it here, and uh, <laughs> the script is, is way off. So anyway, let me just say on behalf of Anchor and, uh, and Soundcore, thanks. Thanks to a lot of you people in the audience for, for giving us the time of day and taking our products and writing about them, and then also thanks to the consumers online. Uh, that are buying our products and helping us become one of the fastest growing audio brands in the world right now, which is really cool. Uh, I'll shut up. We'll get things started. And I'd like to invite my colleague, uh, Christy, on stage. She runs all of branding globally for Soundcore. Thank you, Eric. As Eric mentioned, Soundcore has been very busy, especially in the headphone market. As a company that was born in the online space, we have access to a real-time network of millions of customers. These customers have become an invaluable part of Soundcore's development process. And by simply listening to our global fans, we started seeing things that traditional brands were missing. First, according to research, we know that two-thirds of consumers own several pairs of earphones, each for a different situation. An everyday pair can repair the use when on the go. A pair of noise-canceling headphones for work, studying, and air travel. And often, a less expensive pair of earbuds for workouts. But it also turns out that consumers had much higher expectations for sound quality than what they were getting. This lack of quality was the most true in entry-level headphones, where people felt they were being penalized for not spending more. And it was also true, people were spending more than they wanted to get what they thought as a premium audio experience. At SoundCloud, we believe great audio shouldn't be limited to those who can afford it. So this became the basis of our mission to bring the most incredible audio to the people. Today, we will unveil our newest generation of Suncal earphones and demonstrate how we can deliver an incredible sound experience at every price point. Today, I'm excited to unveil the second generation of our Spirit series, your best gym companion. This Spirit series embodies energetic, bass-driven sound and the truly sweat-resistant durability. So what does truly sweat-resistant mean? 
Well, we had to break a lot of earphones to find out. Submerging leading workout earphones in our specially created simulated sweat quickly showed that IPX ratings are not always enough when it comes to sweat protection. Some very famous names put on some very embarrassing scores in this test. Do you want to know the figures? <laughs> I will tell you in a minute. <laughs> However, uh, this is because IP ratings only indicate defense against water. However, when it comes to sweat, which is a hundred times more corrosive, a stronger protection is needed. To withstand this corrosion, our sweat guard technology combines submarine-inspired structure with an impermeable hydrosil, which we guarantee will resist the sweat. So here comes the numbers. Listen up. The longest surviving competitor earphones lasted only 12 hours in our simulated sweat test. Are you surprised? And guess what? Our Suntour earphones with sweat guard protection were still functional after 30 hours. So make sure when you buy earf earphones, look for Suntour earphones with sweat guard protection. So additionally, to keep users motivated, all three models will feature base up. An exclusive, an exclusive technology that analyzes your audio's low frequencies in real time and instantly increases the bass by up to 43%. Now, I'd like to introduce you to the Spirit 2 series, the Spirit 2, Spirit Dot 2, and Spirit X2. All three now include USB-C fast charging, so what does, it, what does this mean? You can charge our Spirit earphones for just 10 minutes and you will get up to two hours of playtime. So this is very ideal when you are rushing for a workout. The Spirit 2 retains the cable between earbuds for users who still prefer a little physical connectivity. And a magnet in the back of each one helps keep them secure when not in use. The all new Spirit Dot 2 and the Spirit X2 mark our first true wireless earphones specifically engineered for the workout. The Spirit Dot 2 feature a new compact in-ear design and ear wing technology for a secure yet gentle fit. The Spirit X2 features a flexible ear hook design and our all new bass turbo technology, a driver enclosure inspired by high end speakers. We placed a uniquely designed resonant chamber behind the driver for enormous yet tight bass performance. We launched our first true wireless earphones in 2017, the Zolo Liberty Plus. The Zolo Liberty Plus specifically addressed a lot of issues consumers were having in the true wireless space. The following year, we followed this up with the Liberty Air, a pair of stick style true wireless earbuds featuring graphene drivers awesome sound and a super accessible price point. The Liberty Air quickly became one of the world's most popular true wireless earbuds. Today, I'd like to introduce you to our next generation of Liberty true wireless earbuds. The Liberty 2 and also the Liberty Air 2. The Liberty 2 are classic in-ear true wireless earbuds. The Liberty Air 2 the follow-up to our best-selling Liberty Air features a popular stick style earbud design. Both the Liberty 2 and the Liberty Air 2 are tuned to deliver breathtaking sound with our all-new diamond-coated driver. These advanced drivers deliver 15% more frequency bandwidth than ordinary earphones for sound with flawless 
flawless precision, treble that sparkles with detail, and the low end that is full and powerful without being overdone. They also both utilize HEAR ID, our new HEAR ID technology, an intelligent audio customization software that personalizes sound across the entire sp frequency spectrum just for you. The Liberty 2 and the Liberty Air 2 also feature phone mic and CVC noise cancellation technology for improved call quality and both support USB-C fast charging. The Liberty 2 also features wireless charging. So both the Liberty 2 and the Liberty Air 2 will be available early October on Amazon, as well as popular retailers like Best Buy and Walmart. Our new spirit and the Liberty series stay true to Suncor's core value, which is Bring great audio to the people. Thank you. Thanks, Christy. I know I'm back already. <laughs> so for the use, uh, everyone in the audience, the new Liberty and Spirit series will be on display in the gallery uh, to my right. Uh, we'll, let, we'll sort of figure it out later. There's a little door right behind the, the last uh, row you can go into. It's a cute little room. Um, and those that are watching online in the community, uh, uh, we're going to turn it back over to Lawrence and he'll be able to give you a closer look, a little unboxing uh, of the products. So Christy mentioned that we, um, that kind of Soundcore's focus of bringing value at the entry and now sort of the mid-range uh, price point for audio. Um, that's what we're good at. That's what we're known for. But today, we are actually going to throw our hat in the ring into the premium earphone space and specifically True Wireless. Um, and the goal, I'm not, I don't want to trump what our, our general manager is going to say in a few minutes, but the goal was to try to bring or bring us closer, I won't say all the way, but cl really closer um, to a true audiophile experience in the true wireless space. Um, and I'll let you guys be the judge later. But um, to do that, that obviously required uh, reinventing new technologies, and it also required us to tune the products in different ways. Um, and to do that, uh, Soundcore actually enlisted the help of some pretty cool audio engineers. And on that note, I would like to welcome to the stage uh, Mr. Chris Sharma. Chris Sharma is a Grammy Award winning uh, audio engineer that's worked with people like the Stones and Counting Crows and just a ton of cool stuff. So Mr. Chris Sharma. Thanks, Eric. So when Soundcore reached out to me for help, uh, I was a bit skeptical. During my career as an audio engineer, I've worked on numerous projects helping musicians capture and create the best sounding version of a track. Sometimes it's been easy and other times it has required take after take in order to get the ideal sound from the artists or their instrument. But once a track has been recorded, Engineers such as myself take days, if not weeks, if not years, to tweak the smallest details of various instruments and vocals on that track, making subtle changes over dozens of frequencies, channels, and envelopes over and over again until it sounds perfect. We take a lot of time. We sit traditionally behind a digital audio workstation or mixing board, and we listen to each of these changes on finely tuned and quite expensive studio monitors. These are professional grade speakers that are put in a finely tuned listening environment. And they allow us to hear the faintest amount of detail in a track. But also, most of the best engineers I know and myself, what we do is we listen to those mixes in our cars and on a variety of headphones and other sources. We're trying hard to create a final mix that will sound as good as it does on any device. And so I've listened to countless earbuds and headphones, and many have simply sounded unnatural. And as earbuds get smaller, the problem just gets larger and larger. Many of the headphone manufacturers try and mask this mediocre sound with overhyped bass and other tricks to make them sound bigger. But as we know, bigger is not always better. 
And as a true wireless earphone user myself, I really appreciate the convenience and comfort, but with those headphones, I'm not really expecting to get a true and accurate sound. So when Soundcore reached out to me and other engineers for help in tuning their new TWS headphones, I was indeed a bit skeptical. And professionally, my focus is on capturing sound, but being on the other side, it was very interesting to be part of the reproduction of that sound and that experience. And our goal was to create a listening experience where the music you hear was actually being reproduced in the way that we producers, artists, mixers, and engineers all intended it to sound. And we did it. The sound of Soundcore's new true wireless headphones are super accurate. The bass isn't overhyped. The mid-range section allows us to hear vocals precisely, and the top end is not with all the usual harshness that we hear from earbuds. And together, we've created a pair of true wireless headphones that sound great at every frequency, and that's a pretty damn big deal, and I can't wait for you to hear them for yourself. And now to unveil these cool new true wireless headphones, earphones rather, I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Rock Gao, General Manager of Soundcore Headphones. Thank you, Chris. Um, Chris was one of the 10 Grammy award-winning engineers and producers we have been working with to help us to our true wireless headphones. And actually, many of them, I mean the Grammy award winners, are here tonight. I just want to say thank you. We, ca we could not have done that without your help and input. Please, thank you. And um, as Chris mentioned, that um, headphones are often tuned in the way that do not reflect the, the vision of the artist and the engineers. And for Soundcore, our vision has been designing a best sounding true wireless. And to do that, we first have to deal with two fundamental problems. And you guys probably know that. So first thing is the current configuration of the driver being used in true wireless, they do have limitations. They are not capable of delivering the full bandwidth sound. So they just can't do that. For example, they cannot, one driver cannot handle the, the, the deep bass and the shiny detailed highs at the same time. Besides that, um, besides limitation of one driver, very often the Airbus do not have a lot of space Just consider to make sure it's uh, wearing um, with necessary to be comfortable. To the very tiny room, we have to fill in the, the PCB, the battery, microphone, antenna, everything. So it leaves very small room to do the audio cavity design. So in many cases, the driver are just uh, offset to fit and also point away from each other. In that way, the sound stage will not be reproduced. So, to create a accurate and uh, natural sounding true wireless, we have to fix all this. Uh, that has been a long and uh, painful, but also exciting journey. So, through countless experiment and a lot of failure, our team has finally come up with a new hybrid driver concept like this. So you can see we will have this uh, specially tuned nose balanced armature to handle the, the mid and highs. And also we will have the uh, Soundcore designed dynamic driver to deliver the deep rich bass. So with this new coaxial driver we can produce a wide yet very natural sounding stage, which is very rare for an in ear Airbus. So, without further delay, I'd like to introduce for the first time our crown jewel of the Sonco series, the Liberty 2 Pro. Earphones usually use one of two drivers dynamic, circular, for bass, balanced armature, square for clarity and treble. Liberty 2 Pro combines both into a unique design. 
The Astria Coaxial Acoustic Architecture. Its 11 millimeter dynamic driver develops potent bass and power. With a customized Knowles balanced armature presenting the purest detail and treble. And in Liberty 2 Pro, these drivers are mounted coaxially. Treble inside bass for complete harmony. A treble filter ensures that the dynamic driver only outputs bass, so it doesn't interfere with the balanced armature, and Astria is aligned direct to ear to completely avoid any interference. The result is the purest sound over the most expansive sound stage for in-ear studio performance. Right. Besides, thank you. Besides this uh, accurate and natural sound stage, there are other key features we believe we could be winners, like um, eight-hour playtime with single charge, wild charging, and four mic noise reduction to have a very good phone call experience. And hear ID, meaning you can test your own hearing profile and to customize your own preference. So. The Limited Pro will be launching on Amazon.com and Best Buy.com beginning on October the 8th, before they expand to other channels in the very near future. It will also be available for pre-order beginning tomorrow on Soundcar.com. And um, we believe that uh, the Limited Pro represent a new era in true wireless headphones. Developed by our engineers and tuned by artists to deliver a true in-ear studio performance. Again, I'd like to thank all of our Grammy Award engineers and our own heroes, I mean our entire SoundCloud team. They have been working around clocks. It's like 4 a.m in the morning in China, but I know many of my colleagues are working in the office to spot the, the uh, event and to, to push the production. So now this is your moment. This is our moment. It has been great honor working with you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Rock. Um, so that's it. Um, we're going to begin the demo part of the show um, in a few minutes, but as I mentioned when I said uh, ho house cleaning and I meant housekeeping. Um, so uh, for the people that are watching online, we're going to turn you back over to Lawrence right now, um, and he's going to be giving you a closer look at all the products that you saw today, and he's also going to be doing a Q&A with some of our Grammy Award winning engineers. Uh, for everyone here, we're going to do the demo, but we have to pretend that you don't notice that we're going to take the seats out of here and, and move some things around. So we're just going to ask that you go into the uh, bar, grab a drink. Uh, we've had some hot food out there as well and um, in about five minutes. Uh, the only thing I just want to say is there's no embargoes, although the product is officially launching on October 8th and pre-selling. You can take videos, you can take photos, and we'd really love to hear from you what your initial reactions are, and obviously if you're interested in getting review units, please let uh, the people know that will be running the demos. So, thanks.
Okay, guys, welcome back to the live stream. Um, in this segment, we are sitting down with a few of the people you just uh, saw on stage, as well as another, another one of the uh, Grammy award-winning audio engineers. Just a reminder, um, if you're watching this on Twitter, Facebook, and soundcore.com, drop a comment down below. And also, if you're on Twitter, retweet. If you're on Facebook, share, and you will be in to win the Liberty 2 Pro that just got announced. Um, so why don't we start off by just kind of uh, introducing ourselves. So, Rock, do you want to go first? Yeah, um, my name is Rock Gao. I'm the GM of the headphone division of Anchor Suncorp. Cool. Hi, my name is Chris Sharma, and uh, I've been a recording engineer and producer for a long time. Uh, I'm lucky enough to win a couple of Grammys, one of this fine gentleman, too. Um, and I'm really happy to be here. And uh, I also work with artists in another form my company, Big Music, and we're, we're excited to collaborate with Soundcore on the release of this product through artists. And just as we at Big Music try and democratize the content and artists for, for their benefit, I really think Soundcore is democratizing good audio for everybody. It's mm -hmm. finally in an affordable, convenient package. It doesn't sacrifice any of the other things that we're used to sacrificing for good sound, and very much value being one of them. This kind of achieves all of that, and I'm really excited for people to be able to hear music as it should be. Cool. So you've got—I mean—you've got a really good connection to what's going on, and then Ignacio as well. Do you want to? Yeah. yeah. Well, my name is Ignacio, um, two-time Grammy winner and two-time Latin Grammy winner, and uh, I'm More really than me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy to be here with you guys. This is it's really, really good. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's funny, Chris, when you talk about um, democratizing music, because I think that's a big part of our, of our brand aim is to kind of bring premium audio to the masses and show that you can get um, kind of premium quality without the premium price. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And we see streaming resolutions are getting better. Uh, record labels and everyone is now understanding how to master for streaming, right? Yeah. One dB down and all of that, so you still get all of the clarity. And so as the, the, the product that gets to the to the transducer, to the headphones gets better. It, you know, weak link is that transducer itself or the headphones themselves and, and being able to have, you know, earphones that are convenient to use and, and not only less convenient than any other product out there, but also sound good right, yeah, yeah. Is, is, a, is, a, is a step forward. And that's why I was really excited about the product that you were I was like, wow, our music is gonna sound good on it. Nice. I think you must know a bit about that as well, Rock, because you've had a, a bit of experience in other companies and quite a, quite a long career in this, right? Yes. Um, yeah, I've been working, uh, working for uh, Harman Kardon before joining Anchor. It's quite the appearance that uh, we have such a young but experienced team to build many things happens. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think when you, when you look at the size of our team compared to um, some of these the, the big premium um, like brands out there, we are we are much smaller. So I think we're quite happy with how how the Liberty 2 Pro especially has turned out. Yeah. What did you, what did you think, Ignacio, of the product? Well, I was, I was uh, telling Chris that um, I feel that they are very fast in their response. Okay. You know? um, that the sounds really you know get to you the way they should. You know, without being harsh. Yeah, exactly. Which is a very huge issue. For example. I mean, not to name any brands out there, but if you, you know, get the earphones that come with your regular cell phone, when you go past a certain level, which would be, you know, considered the comfortable level, they start getting a little bit pokey and they start, like, really hurting your ears. And these ones, they just stay around, you know? They st still, uh, respond very fast to transients that they they don't hurt you. Yeah. You know? Nice. So we actually I mean talking talking about the product, uh, um Rob
Okay, guys, so sorry about that. We just uh, uh, ran into another technical issue there. Um, so let me just dive back into the question I was just asking Rock, which is that we had a question from Ruben on the live stream, and Ruben was asking, how long did it take to produce uh, the Liberty 2 Pro? Um, and with these new products, and uh, kind of what started the idea for, for the new ones as well? Yeah, actually, this discussion has been going on for a long time. Our reason is to design a better sounding true wireless. Um, but really, it took us like three months to discuss how we can do, to, to do that because we have a kind of um, checked all other brand products and we found they are all different uh, flaws. Mm -hmm. So we have been discussing for three months to figure out a way to design a sound good product and we do not care the cost at all at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Then we finally come up with this uh, coaxial driver idea, but just idea. We just started like nine months ago and take a lot of effort to make this thing work. I mean, I engineering wise, we have to make very good shield for this, uh, for the driver. Mm -hmm. And also to tune the right sound stage, which is a big deal. We did a lot of uh, simulation to make it work. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, you've, you've just mentioned the, so we have this uh, new technology in there, which is the Astria Acoustic Audio Architecture. I just want to ask you guys from your perspective, like what is, what is the significance of like um, a coaxial driver and earbuds to, to you as, as engineers? I mean, you know, as you pointed out, fast, right? Yeah. So you're getting transient response, that's great. So that's, that's a certain kind of driver. And then you're also getting, you know, the, the lower frequencies, you know, re being reproduced differently, and mm -hmm. that will use an intermodulation distortion, mm -hmm. and it'll, you know, I'm sh and if it, it's probably bi-amplified, yep. then so then you're when you hit a distortive peak on the low end, it doesn't create a distortion on the high end, and and also, you know, with coaxial drivers, I'm sure in this you use tannoys sometimes, yeah. or have you? Yeah, some right. So the old classic tannoy studio monitors, the super golds were coaxial. And so that means all the sound, because one speaker is sitting I within another larger speaker, yeah. that it's all coming from a single point. Mm -hmm. So then the phase distort, like if you get treble coming from here and bass coming from there, well, you know, depending where your head is, right, they're going to be getting to you at different, slightly different times. Right. So that doesn't happen with the, the coax. Um, sure. I think that's probably part of some of the stuff you were talking about. Yeah, the thing is that not, not very, very much people know, but I, I regularly, regularly tour with an artist and I do monitoring, mm -hmm. which uses in-ear headphones, mm -hmm. right? And there are so many things that come into the development of something that sounds really good, mm -hmm. you know? And most of the companies either use armatures like all the way armatures, yeah, a lot of, or they use dynamic drivers, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Right. But combining both of them is something really, you know, good. And uh, having them uh, time aligned, you know, the low, the low part of the spectrum with the mids and high parts of the spectrum, having to, I mean, leaving the drivers at the same time, it's totally great, you know. Yeah, multiple drivers is one thing. You have to make sure it works uh, flawlessly. I mean, manage the phase. Mm -hmm. And also, important thing is uh, it's uh, archi architecture, not the drivers. Mm -hmm. We have to fine tune the housing of the earbud to make sure they work together. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Great. Um, so we, we, we also have another panel that we want to uh, get to as well. So I'm just going to ask uh, one more question. And um, we've got someone asking about the, uh, the hair ID. So before we dive into that, uh, Rock, I, th I think you've got quite an interesting story about um, where this idea for hair ID came from, right? Can you, are you able to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, my father is in his 80s, mm -hmm. he has some serious hearing loss. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, we have been, our team has been trying to design uh, hearing aids to help people like my father. Then we decide that um, the same methodology, theory, could apply to our uh, true to, 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 to make pe people hear better sound. Because, I mean, you and I, we do not have the hearing loss as my father did. But still, we still have very slightly different hearing profile. So, and with now, uh, with the app, 
we can now accurately test the tiny difference, then we can easily do the compensation. Mm -hmm. So even though we, we, we can have different uh, preference, different hearing uh, style, different hearing um, I mean ID, but still we can manage to hear the same music, as you mentioned, the music that the, the, the artist wanted that way. That's the whole trick, yeah. Nice, yeah. So besides the hearing ID, guys, was um, for you, um, besides the, sorry, besides the coaxial driver, was there anything else that kind of, like what, what really hit you when you first opened that, saw that product, and what's that the biggest thing for you? Um, well, I put them on and it sounded great. So, okay. <laughs> it's simple I mean, as it's that, as right. simple as that, you yeah. Know? yeah. Okay. It's something that, I mean, presentation is great and everything, but at the end is how it sounds. Mm -hmm. And it just works. Awesome. You know? Okay, great. How about you, Chris? You know, for me, it was they sound great. And one of the reasons, it's, personally, I have a problem with a lot of different types of earbuds because of how my ear is shaped. Right. And so they don't fit in there. And this, because it's got, I mean, it just sounds like a minor detail, but it's got that rubber. The, the that you, And right. you just kind of just yep. put it in there. And then it just was, it fit and it made, it made enough of a, a contact with, the, with my ear canal that I could hear the bottom end. Yeah. Like, so the bottom end for the first time in my life on earbuds was the same on either side. Really? Which is a trip. Wow. Yeah, because remember, the, actually the bottom end, we actually can see it because of the vibration of the bones. Yeah. Wow. Right? So, if you if you if you don't have the um, the perfect contact of the earbud with your bone structure, you won't perceive the bass the right way. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. Okay. I think uh, with that, guys, we will uh, leave it here. Thanks a lot um, to all of you for taking part in the panel and for being here tonight. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks cool. for having us. No, no problem. Um, so feel free to go out that way, and we'll get the the other guys in. Sure.
Hey guys, so we are back again with our second and final panel discussion. Um, if you're just tuning in, uh, just a heads up that again, uh, tonight we announced the Liberty 2 Pro, which features our um, Astria acoustic audio architecture. It's quite a, quite a mouthful. Um, and so, yeah, we're actually giving those away this evening. If you do want to uh, win some, all you need to do is uh, make sure you're commenting in the live streams. If you're on Twitter, uh, retweet the live stream. If you're on Facebook, share that out. And if you're watching on soundcore.com, all you have to do is comment. Um, so I'll, I'll leave it off to you guys. Why don't we start off by uh, introducing ourselves? Uh, uh, you're, you're first in line. Cool. <laughs> there we go. I'm, I'm Patrick Turbin. I'm an audio engineer, musician, uh, based out of Los Angeles, California. And uh, go Dodgers. Yeah, go, yeah, go Dodgers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Go Rams. <laughs> go, go all LA. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, my name is Daryl Thorpe. I'm also an audio engineer. That's how I know these guys. Based in Los Angeles, uh, and uh, been in the business for fortunately 24 years now, and I'm still still going strong. Uh, my name is Alex Pasco. I too, or three, am an audio engineer, uh, working out of Los Angeles. Um, worked with these fellows on a number of projects, uh, along with other things. I did admit it, yeah, and, I, and I'm still friends with them, too. Um, and, yeah. Cool. So long is your friendship, I hope. A long, 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 long. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, I'm Christy Chen. I think you might saw me, see me earlier on stage. I'm head of branding for Softcore, and uh, I really want to take the opportunity to say thank you to our fans around the world, you know, to witness this great moment with us. Yeah, definitely. Um, so for a lot of people here tonight, um, obviously, it's, the chances of them having spoken to an audio engineer before are, are quite remote. So can you guys just start off by uh, telling us, like, what, I mean, what are the biggest challenges of audio engineering, in your opinion? Uh, well, I mean, it was, so I guess I'll start. Um, in, in studio recording nowadays, uh, everything is uh, multi-tracked. Uh, you're dealing with phase coherence of microphones. You might have you know, 15, 20 microphones on a drum kit and getting all of those things to line up mm -hmm. so that the sound's hitting, hitting your ear all at the same time. Because when, when those mics are delayed, you oftentimes get, uh, uh, what they're, they're called phase coherence mm -hmm. problems. Um, and it's comb filtering and it makes things sound weird. So uh, that's part of it is getting, getting mics aligned properly, getting levels getting the performance from artists, mm -hmm. making things sound good. Cool. Yeah, trying to turn something that doesn't sound that great into something that sounds amazing. That that's, can be a challenge as well, mm -hmm. depending on whether the situation of uh, uh, the, the artist has a particular instrument that they want to play, they have to play, but it's, it's, it's sonically not doing what you want it to do in your ear, so you mm -hmm. have to think of ways to, whether it's uh, microphone technique or space technique, reverbs or uh, mic preamps or analog gear that we use to be to boost signal or EQ, all these variables come into play that like, okay, how can I make this work? And sometimes right. it's a challenge and we win, sometimes it's a challenge and we lose. Cool. Or the flip side of that, sometimes it's something that sounds great already and you're just, how can I properly capture this? How can I not mess So this that up? It, it reproduces right when, when they finally listen to it. So that's a challenge in itself, even just like not, not, not overplaying it and not doing too much, right? Yeah. Well, and microphones and speakers react completely differently than your ear does in a room. So it's trying to make that translate properly. Cool. Right. Yeah, and, and for, I mean, we have the luxury of working in finely tuned spaces a lot, but mm -hmm. for even other professional audio engineers, like there's a big challenge in getting your own space or the space they're working in to reflect that that which you've already captured. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we call you know? it being too, like a tuned room yeah. is, uh, where it's balanced over the sonic spectrum mm -hmm. to where when you think you're, when you're hearing too much bass, you're realistically hearing too much bass. If you went and played it in your car or somebody else's car, your speakers would just be like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's like a, that is a major challenge yeah. in the studio all the time. And um, Cassidy used use that term like reflecting sound, and that's quite interesting because uh, kind of like what what kind of sound um, audio sound of, of products are you look are you, do you look for, and do you think Libs Two Pro in any way kind of match it maps to that? Uh, 
I do, yeah. I use uh, some very high quality, very expensive headphones to check mixes. And um, I was, I, I, I did a comparison. I was very impressed with how the Liberty 2 Pros were comparing to these extremely expensive headphones that are studio grade, mm -hmm. um, that are kind of fragile and sensitive. They don't travel that well. Mm -hmm. So for that being said, you don't want to take them on the plane or to the gym for that reason. So I, I, I was very impressed. Awesome. Yeah. And I've, I have not been happy checking the mixes on headphones because it's so drastically different from right. my studio or my car. Um, so I, I don't have the, these mm -hmm. very expensive. <laughs> uh, but yeah, checking, I was in the middle of mixing a record when I got the Liberty 2 Pros and popped them in and checked my car, checked my studio, checked one other place. A now, did, yeah. the, did the mix sound worse? <laughs> did no. you, were you like, oh, I, I hear what I did wrong now? No, but I definitely, I definitely could hear some some stuff in the Liberty 2 Pro in the high frequencies that I couldn't hear in my studio. Yeah. Wow. My studio isn't perfect. Yeah. Some which of the high most, frequencies, Which yeah. most rooms aren't perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the challenge. Right. Yeah. W one tune, I could hear cymbals in the drums. Uh, they sounded weird. And I went and checked back the session. And I don't want to get too technical, but that that drum track in that session had been quantized with, ah. with a, an elastic audio. It's where they stretch the audio and the cymbals sounded all weird and stretched for time. Yeah, they were stretched and I couldn't hear it in my studio and I heard them on these headphones so I, I was able to fix it. So it was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Audio engineers, so you know how to describe, you know, yeah. the, the richness, yeah. the depth mm -hmm. you heard. You know, one of the best, you know, how do common people describe the sound mm. when they hear Liberty 2 Pro? So, one of the best quotes I heard is that, okay, I use it to listen to a lot of songs which I, you know, re often listen, mm -hmm. and they just sound better. Mm -hmm. Somehow, they just sound better with more details. So that is how common people describe it. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You hear all the parts. Yes, you hear it all yes. Like that. Yeah. Suddenly they just sound better. Yeah. Cool. Um, so when you guys like like first first saw the product, um, first opened the box, what was what was the first thing that kind of smacked you about about Liberty Two Pro? Um, I was I was I mean first off the case design is awesome, just the flip Ditto. the flip yeah, thing. The case was like, and then, which is which is quite different, by the way, because um, so for the, the fans watching, you know that before we had like Liberty Neo, we had Liberty Air, and we did go with quite a different case design on there. Flip, yeah, yeah, yeah. flip top. But, yes, but even, yes, even the, the, the the shape and how it kind of fits into your pocket, it's, it's a little bit slimmer. Yeah, yeah. We, we went a bit different there this yeah. time. Right. Yeah, I like how there's there's nothing to put back together. Yeah, it just slides out. Like, yeah. a, like a sports car door. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. A sports yeah. car, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> like a scissor door. Yeah. Sports yeah. car. <laughs> Just slide it. Right. Yeah. And it does open with one thumb. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Instead of like mm -hmm. yeah, putting yeah. them away also, you don't have to like just set, you don't have to find where they go. I was just like kind of tossing them in and you kind of jiggle it oh, and yeah? they just pop in where the to charge. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Um, but mm -hmm. I was also really excited to see that they had the winglets on them. Because I can never keep earbuds in my ear. Uh -huh. And this, I was riding my bicycle, which you shouldn't do because it's not safe. But um, <laughs> I was riding my bicycle. I did yard work with them in. Yeah. Never had to like shove them back into my ears. Well, it's, it's interesting you talk about doing that with the, the background noise in there because we have the transparency mode as well, right? Oh, yes. Right. Is that? Yes. That will come up a Oh, that will come a little bit yeah, later. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, so that, 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 that's yet to come. Um, right. That'll be an interesting feature. Um, yeah. yeah. We've we've had someone asking uh, how do we how do we fit all these drivers um, into an earbud? Um, very, very carefully. Yeah, right. Yeah. I, I think that's that kind of takes. Um, I mean, I know that Rock's team works on it for uh, over a, a, a good year, right? Around that. Yeah. Actually, I think it's really a miss, and it is science, and it is also art. Mm -hmm. I try to ask our audio engineers you know, to explain it to me, the mechanics engineers to ex explain it to me. And they told me a lot of things. And the only thing I can understand is that they have been doing rounds and rounds of testing mm -hmm. for a few months. And finally, they get everything 
called Accelerate a Land. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, it sounds like I didn't tell you a lot. I'm mm -hmm. a marketeer. I'm not yeah. really an engineer. Right. Talking, talking of a marketing question, uh, actually, we've had a few people asking, um, who, who do we think is the core user for Liberty 2 Pro? Wow. And I, I'll, I'll pose that to you guys as well, understanding music, yeah. Exactly. Actually, I think you guys yeah, are in I the mean, right place to answer this question than me. I have one thought. Yeah. I think the core user is somebody who wants to listen to an album and hear closer to what the producers, engineers, and artists wanted to hear than something that's mm -hmm. hyped in yeah. the lows or highs. Someone who cares about audio file grade sound. I mean, yeah. they, they sound great, and you can yeah. you have it on the go, which yeah. is amazing. Yeah. And you're not wearing giant, you know, they have those amazing, like, I forget the brand, but like giant headphones that have these huge drivers, and they sound amazing, but they're 20 Heavy. pounds on yeah. your head, and you have to have, you know, a huge amp to drive them to make them sound that good. And this is pop them in, go about your day. I see. I could see everyone on the subway here in New York wearing those, you know? Right. So basically, in summary, for anyone who loves music and want to hear the authentic music, the most natural music. Yeah, mm -hmm. basically. Exactly. Cool. It's, it's also it's the same as something that somebody said it over hype. So many things are in our lives now, our car stereos, my wife's car stereo, my car stereo, they're uh, being engineers, we know what sonic manipulation sounds like, and I hear the processing going on in our, the stereos to make it sound the way it does. And for the average probably listener, it doesn't bother them. For me, I'm like, oh, I can't deal with this. It's just it's doing my head in. So it's like the processing is getting away in, of the art, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is what you want. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the... Yeah, so much of it is like, let's, you know, because I feel like for such a long time, headphones were these little things that would sit on the top of your ears, mm -hmm. and there was no bass response. Mm -hmm. Unless you could like push them and like shove them into your ears, and then you're like, okay, I'm getting bass. I remember doing that with those old like Sony Walkman headphones. Yeah. Oh, like, doing yeah, those that. things dug in. And ear. then it was all about like, ours have bass. Yeah. Yeah. And then it just kept going and going to the point where it's like you put these headphones on and it's all bass, and you don't get any mid-range detail, mm -hmm. you don't get any highs. And I think that's the, that's the advantage of the, the wing tips that you spoke about as well, because the way, so I think what, if, if, when you guys get the, the Liberty 2 Pro, um, you'll see that actually putting them in and inserting them, it, it feels a little bit different to doing that with other earbud, earbuds, because you kind of have to lock them in place, yeah, right? They turn, yeah. they kind of, <laughs> yeah. they don't make a noise. Which, yeah. which by the way, to, uh, as the guy who hates messing with stuff, and maybe you can concur, it took, a couple of seconds to figure it out, but then once I got the design of how to get it in my ear, I was like, oh, this is, this is quite smart. And then same thing with Alex, mm -hmm. trying to move around, trying to shake yeah. them out. Uh, I rode scooters for a month uh, to and from work in the hotel, and I kept wow. popping them in and on the, and they just stayed in. <laughs> never right? lost them. Mm -hmm. yeah. wow. They almost can't unless you were to be doing a, like a front flip or a front front mosh pit. Yeah. Mosh pit, yeah. getting knocked off the scooter. Yeah. Actually, I'd test, I reckon they'd still stay in. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> I'm well, not going to test I'll it. I'll be your first <laughs> test subject. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Without yeah. a helmet, because if you wear the helmet, the helmet. Oh, yeah. No helmet. No helmet. No helmet. Slips. Yeah. We don't condone that either. Cool. We can wear a scoop. Okay, guys, so I think we're, um, we're probably going to wrap it up there. Is, is there anything else that you guys want to say or, or leave it on? Or? Happy to be uh, a part of the team. Yeah, yeah. thanks, yeah. thanks for, having for having us. Thanks yeah. a lot. I know that we really appreciate it, don't we, Christine? Yes, yeah. yes. We are, yeah. we are very thankful for all the efforts you helped us in tuning yeah. those uh, Liberty 2 Pro together mm -hmm. and look at what a beautiful product we created together. I know. Thank man. you. Yeah. Thanks, thank guys. you. Happy thank to be you involved. Yeah. 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 And um, thanks to everyone that's been watching. Again, if you've just tuned in recently, uh, remember that the Liberty 2 Pro pre order um, starts tomorrow. Um, so make sure you get in on that and you can get it at a, at a much better price. Um, and then also, if you still want to enter a giveaway to win a pair, just make sure you share this live stream and leave a comment down below. And uh, with that, we'll, um, we'll leave it. Thanks a lot for attending the event with us. Thank you.